Hello hobbyist, welcome. Let's play ping pong with Arduino. We start by tell you how does this code work. I've already done that in other occasions, but now let's go to the extra mile. I'm going to leave all this code for download in my webpage, so please bear with me for the next few minutes because I thought it would be a fun experience. In order to deal with this project, the first thing you need to know is how interactions occur inside 18 Mega 328 chip. Here is a minimal common code for it. Let's take a closer look at this code with the help of an oscilloscope and find out how they generate a three different PWM signal on pins 3, 4 and 5 of Arduino. See this graph to grab the whole picture every one millisecond an interrupt is generated and the routine within the ISR method has the opportunity to run. Cool. By the way, ISR stands for Interrupt Service Routine. Each of these pins runs at different frequencies due to the counting in binary fashion see and understand since there is an interruption generated every millisecond if we move to that probe we can see how fast these blocks run calculated in a mere three microsecond in my previous video cool now Let's put more code inside. See this second version. We have now a fake ping pong implemented. It's fun, but it gets boring in a minute or so. Fortunately, there is a lot more we can see here, but better. Let's run the last code and calmly analyze each condition, line by line. See these graphs, please. Against the pedal and autoplay. This is a modeling spreadsheet. Let's suppose the ball leaves that place, F8, in the positive direction for the right. Coming this way, it goes against the right pedal bat. Here, F11, exactly when the ball is in F11 position, it meets the first two clauses, as well as the third and the fourth clauses, since position Y is greater than pedal bat minus one and less then pedal bat plus one. Bingo! The ball will reverse direction when hitting the right pedal bat. Cool! Now, suppose again the ball is right here, D6. Going in that direction to the left, reaches that point, D4. The ball will revert the direction again as it meets all the clauses of that equation. See that it comes back in a straight line. We will see how to make it go back in angle in a moment. Out of play or one play mode. This part tells Who's in command? Auto play or one play mode? Auto play 
mode never misses. The pedal bat always chases the ball along the Y axis. Back in angles. We add velocity on the X axis to make the ball touch the walls and not just follow in a straight line. For now, the ball makes angle with the walls, for the ball does not escape, the next two ifs must hold it inside the space of the game. Sailing. If the ball reaches that position B3 to I3, it will reverse its direction with respect to the Y axis. Button. At the same time, if the ball reaches that region, B10 to I10, it will also reverse its direction with respect to the Y axis for the reverse reason. Serving balls. If the ball reaches that position, A3 to A10, without reaching the pedal bat outside the autoplay mode, then it appears on the opposite side. The same thing happens on the Y axis, only in reverse order. All right, I have read a lot, did some internet research and wrap up this information on my web page. Please, give me a visit or see this video and a chance to show you of my ideas. You are watching the Jungle Tronics channel. This is your host, J3. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you learned something with this video, give it a thumbs up.